Klein Perek Zion Mishnah Vav. We are continuing with a series of Mishnayot that continue on the theme of Ein Adam Mekadesh Davar Sheino Shalo. That a person vis-a-vis Klein, in the context of Klein, you don't have the ability to make something into Klein, into a Kerem, into Klai a Kerem, if it doesn't belong to you. So this mission is a continuation of that theme. Ha'anas. Anas is a person that steals a field, i.e., he drives out the rightful owner of the field. So I drive out, so if a person, Biff, for example, kicks out the rightful owner of the field, Marty McFly, okay, and then Zara et a Kerems, and he plants in the Kerems Zra'im. He plants in this vineyard, he plants uh, Kalaim. And then Vyatsam of And then Biff leaves. Biff, whatever, gives up the, it's not growing properly or whatever. So the question is, what is the responsibility of the person, of the owner of the field, to get rid of? He has to uproot the kilayim. So the Mishnah says, Kotsuro afilu ba'mo'ed. You have to get rid of it immediately. You have, to cut, you have to cut it out. You have to cut it down. And even during the mo'i, even if it's during chalamoi. So that's a very significant thing as we're going to learn later. Let's look at the Bartunura for a second. Kotsuro afilu ba'mo'ed. Why? You're not going to lose anything. Normally we say that a person is prohibited from doing real work physical work, if it's a person from doing, uh, from, from doing his, for his profession, unless it fulfills a, a number of conditions. One of the conditions that's what's called, is what's called davar ha'aved, i.e., would it be, if you didn't do the work now, would you lose money? Is it something that's going to incur monetary loss? This is not a monetary loss. Why? We said that the anas who kicked the owner out of the field has no ability to prohibit the original owner. He didn't make it into claim. Afal PK, nonetheless, Mipne Mari Ta'ayin Hitiru. There's an issue of Mari Ta'ayin. I was going to look. People walk by and see poor Marty McFly with his field, and he sees in his carom the growing corn. So they permitted Liktsor Bamo'ed. Shalo ye nir eki mikayem klaim It doesn't look like you're mikayem klaim. That's one position the Bartunera says. Inami or Imu Yarei Shama Yosif Matayim Bamo'ed. What happens, the Bartunera says, if over the course of Chalom Moed, it'll be Yosif Matayim? One two hundred would grow under his possession. Then it would be davar ha'aved. Why? Even though the anas didn't make it prohibited. Why? Because he didn't have the, the ability to make that which is not his prohibited. Nonetheless, if what it grew one two hundred after it was returned to the original owner. After Biff left, then it is Kidesh, and that would be a problem. So therefore, Kotsro, Afilu Bamoed, you cut it, you have to uproot it, even on Chalamoy. Ad Kamahunotein La Poalim, how much do you have to pay? Should it be extra to give to the workers in order to get rid of the Kalaim in your field on Chalamoy? Because nobody wants to work Chalamoy, so you have to actually pay people extra. Ad Shalish. And we see the Yerushalmi brings a Machloket. Does it mean until a third more than the normal, uh, the normal fee for doing the work? And some say it could even be a third of the entire value of the field, because otherwise you have to re- get rid of the whole thing. Yater mikan, but if it's more than a shalish, kotzer kedarko v'holech, he just, he could, he, you have to do the work. He, he cuts as he goes along. Afilu lacharmoid, even if it takes him that long, because he has a whole huge vineyard, that he has cut out a ton of corn, even after the moed, that's okay. He, as long as he's, you know, remember we learned in Kilayim, if you say, oh, when I come back, I'll get to it, you know, I'll leave it, then, it's, then you're in trouble. Then if it grows a matayim, then you're, it's kidesh. But remember we said, if you see, if you see Kalayim in your field, and you say, when I get there, when you're going along, and when I get there, uh, then I'll cut it, then the, the Mishnah says, that's not Kalayim, because you're in the process of getting to it. It's not considered midato. Finally, the Mishnah says, anas. So the Bartunu explains what it means is when is the field considered the property of the anas? So it's no longer bound by the rule of Ein Adam Osea Davar She'en Oshelo, i.e. when it is his and then the client becomes Kedusha and prohibited. Mishi Yishka. Mishi Yishka means when the name of the original owner is forgotten. Then let's look at the Bartunu for a second. Okay. Me'ematai Nikra Anas. Kolomar. Me'ematai Nikra HaKerem Al Shem HaAnas. When is the kerem called by the name of the owner? It's to be considered his. Mishishka, when it's forgotten, the name Shem Abali Mina Kerem. Vikarel Shem Gazlan. It's no longer Marty McFly's. Now it's Biff's vineyard. Then it's considered his. Vikadesh Kol Mashiz Rabba. Because and then everything is Kadosh. Why? Because no longer impose the rule of Enadam Oser Davar Shein Oshalo. 
Okay, we'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate this learning to the memory of my father, Harav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.